Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming towards you in the near future. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me what's coming towards Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn in the near future. It's a piece of hair <laughs> on my table. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm so excited. Oops. Because I'm also an earth sign. I'm a Virgo. Let's see. Four. Wow. So many major arcanas. Got the Five of Swords and Rock Flowers at the bottom of the deck. For me, um, Five of Swords and Rock indicates an end of conflict or you winning something as well. Um, could be you winning competition, Wheel of Fortune, luck is finally going to be on your side, especially when it comes to your finances or your career. Three of Swords here and Rock Flowers may be an indication of you recovering, healing from heartbreak, sadness, could be caused by a failed relationship. Or failed relationships or it could have something to do with your career or your money we've got the two of pentacles here and love first feels like um you are you are going to make a decision in regards to the emperor here if this emperor is you that means you're definitely bossing up you're making big moves in terms of your career some of you it's starting a new business or changing your career because will fortune can indicate some sort of a Big change and four swords here indicates you have been thinking about this um you know you have maybe maybe been marinating with this idea it feels like an idea or something you've been planning right to boss up with the emperor here it may have something to do with your career i feel like for most of you but uh if this is something to do with love will of fortune indicates somebody is changing for you because they miss you and they would like to heal this connection with you through mm -hmm. swords and lovers it could be them stepping up making a choice to step up for you after thinking long and hard about it okay and we've got the fool here my first somebody is gonna tell you that's what i'm getting here that they do they will not make the same mistake again they may be admitting that they are foolish and they may be telling you that they would like to change and for some of you it's you not making the same mistake again when it comes to any decisions or maybe it has something to do with your work or your finances and also we've got the justice card here for some of you i feel like justice you know can be an indication an indication of a contract for, uh, for some of you you being offered a contract or it could indicate marriage um <laughs> some of you are getting married justice here or if you've been going through some legal issues i see the outcome being in your favor and we've got the nano swords here maybe the nano swords and the four swords you know all these swords indicates you it has been on your mind and that you've been thinking a lot a lot about it and for some of you it's both career and love or it could be just you know either or but what's coming up what's coming towards you i feel like it's going to be something very very important okay justice long term important and also it, it's going to be a huge change big big change for some of you it's you also, finally, if this is a delay, the full hit and reverse delay in some sort of freedom, financial freedom, or freeing yourself from someone, I'm sensing um, for some of you only uh, that the, you may be freeing yourself from uh, an old job, five pentacles, maybe they didn't pay you enough or that you work too much or that you're just not too happy with uh, your career or your current job and I'm sensing a big change here right if there has been a delay for you to you know um wanting for you to make these changes I feel it's coming it's coming pretty soon I feel like the changes is, is um going to happen pretty soon because the Wheel of Fortune is the first card was the first card that came out so right away I feel like this is going to happen pretty soon okay so an end of struggle end of heartbreak 
you stepping up. It could be you stepping up as well, becoming a boss, uh, or taking charge of your life, feeling much more. Um, I would say feeling more experienced and wiser or sure or ready as well to make. To take this new leap of faith with the fool here in one verse. But Spirit is definitely saying, if you're going to sign a contract with anybody, um, or if you're going to partner with somebody, something to do with black and white, um, this judge, um, the justice card for me may be an indication of you needing to make sure that, you know, all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed, okay? So let's see more Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is a huge, huge change. and But I feel like it's not going to be super easy. I feel like you will think about it. it it's happening pretty soon, but I feel like you are also going to be taking your time to think about it. And again, this is a decision. Maybe someone is going to decide to offer you something here, right? Either it's commitment, somebody proposing to you. This person has been thinking a lot about you, proposing to you to make the relationship official or to get engaged, get married. And we've got the Five of Swords, again, in my verse, Eight of Cups, um, the Lovers in my verse. For some of you, if you've been thinking about traveling or moving, relocating, this is going to happen as well because Eight of Cups feels like you're moving away from a place that you have lived for a while or it could be you moving away from your career mm. some of you it's somebody coming to visit you that's what i'm getting here someone could be missing you and they're coming to visit you and for some of you it's you walking away from somebody who may not treat you right they may have lied to you cheated on you four of cups here and also we've got the empress here this is oh we've got the empress and the emperor you will be meeting your true match, okay? And this is going to be a power couple, you and your person. Some of you, you ha maybe you haven't met this person yet because Wheel of Fortune indicates divine timing. Maybe both of you, if you haven't met this person yet and if you're, if you're completely single, I definitely sense you meeting this person at the right time or and at the right place, okay? And this is so exciting. Uh, for me, for some of you, it's you after going through a breakup and then meeting somebody who is at your level. Um, mature, well, it doesn't matter the age, it could be mature emotionally, somebody stable, somebody who has a job or has a, their own business career, somebody very, very stable and somebody very, uh, the justice here, somebody very fair, somebody who is going to treat you fairly and take the connection very seriously, okay? So again, we've got the four cups here. For those of you, if you've been super picky when it comes to love and you've been single, again, I feel like that's because you know your worth and your value. And Spirit's definitely saying it's good that you did not just simply pick anybody, that you just sit here with the Empress here, again, knowing your worth and your value and, you know, just waiting for the right time to meet the right person for you. And I feel like you're definitely going to be meeting this person and it's going to lead to a marriage this is so exciting for some of you it's reconciliation six of cups here reconciling with somebody from your past or if currently you're going through some issues from uh, with your person uh, this person will return there'll be some hashing out here with the judgment here both of you will be talking um discussing and also got these seven of cups here in reverse and eventually making a decision to come back together give this connection a second chance and again i see it uh evolving into a marriage um, but if the six of cups is not somebody returning to you it could indicate a soulmate connection so for some of you you know with the judgment here for some reason i feel like um, because this angel is blowing the trumpet, right? It's like this is what the universe has in store for you, this person. It feels like, okay, now is the time. Um, no matter what, you cannot avoid it. <laughs> you cannot avoid meeting your soulmate or that you cannot avoid maybe giving somebody a second chance, reconciliation here. And again, the empress and the emperor, these two, you're supposed to, uh, both of you are supposed to be with each other, right? Meant for, for each other. And the universe is saying so as well with the will of fortune. It's time. The time, it's time to either reconcile or it's time to finally meet 
uh, the, your right person, your true match. And that is going to lead to justice here, marriage. Uh, we've got the Ten of Swords, sorry, Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles in one first, and also we've got the Hierophant here in one first. Yeah, for some of you, this is definitely somebody with the Ten of Wands. Finally, you know, they may be dragging their feet, but they are going to return. This may be for some of you only, okay? If this is what you're looking for or this is your situation right now. and uh, But then again, if you're really completely single, not returning to someone from your past or not expecting anyone to return to you, I definitely sense there's somebody completely new here, okay? We've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Again, it doesn't matter the um the gender. It's not gender specific. But Nine of Pentacles is somebody very hardworking. So I feel like for those of you, if you've been working really, really hard, um, I'm also sensing. I'm sensing you. Uh, your hard work is um going to pay off. But also, if you look at the Nine of Pentacles, this person. Very hardworking. It's supposed to be a hardworking knight, reliable, stable. But if you look at the horse, the horse is on a standstill. Some of you, what's coming towards you would be you taking a sabbatical, uh, taking a break from work, and then perhaps travel. Some of you, it's traveling because of the Wheel of Fortune. Here's some travel plans. Maybe it could involve uh, work as well for some of you, okay? Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I love this reading. I hope you liked it too, and I hope it resonated with you in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. I just posted, posted this video a few days ago. Um, I'm in London right now. I think I've already said it so many times, but check it out if you want to. It's I was on a cruise with my childhood friend on River Thames. It's so beautiful. I love it here in London. Check it out if you want to. If not, it's fine too. And I will leave you with my playlist on the screen. The playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions, but they're still valid readings because they're still new okay so check it out just click on that playlist scroll all the way down look for your sign there could be some other important messages for you over there and also i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below all right take care bye